And what better way to kick off our two week tour of the country than starting here at the country's National Field Days event. It's about a five day event and I think it attracts about 130,000 people uh, over the course of those five days and what better place to catch up with several of the pioneering manufacturers from New Zealand. So without further ado let's get stuck in, let's get in amongst it, let's get involved and let's see what this country has to offer. So many of you back in the UK, you'll be familiar with the name Waikato Milking Systems. It's not the easiest to say, as you can see. Um, and they've got a few units working throughout the UK and Ireland. So while we're in New Zealand, I thought it'd be great to catch up uh, with the company itself, uh, learn a bit about its background and what its latest products are. So I'm now joined by Grant. Uh, Grant, what's your job title? Uh, International Sales Manager. Fancy title. So Grant, what can you tell us about Waikato, a little bit of its history and background? Um, so Waikato Milking Systems, um, obviously, you know, we're a fairly well-known brand in, in the UK. Um, we've probably been associated traditionally with the uh, pastoral-based farmers, but at the moment we're making a real push globally into TMR farming, and that's really starting in the US. Um, we're targeting those big, big farms, milking 24 hours a day, big cows, giving lots and lots of milk. Okay, and your latest product, we're stood in front of it now, this is the, the Centris, and the key difference between this well I'll let you explain <laughs> so this um this centris this is a, a rotary platform built out of composite material so we've gone away from the uh, the concrete and building this uh, this platform out of composite and it's the same material that the latest aircraft like the latest Boeing Dreamliner is built out of um, the, the, the latest boats as well so the big advantage of it is, is, is weight so on a 60 stall rotary we go from 26 tons for a concrete rotary down to five tons for a composite at Rotary. Um, but we don't only reduce the weight, we also increase the strength. So it's about seven to eight times stronger than concrete. Okay, so that's some uh, fairly impressive figures. So what would be the ben benefits from that then? Certainly on a TMR farm that it's milking you know, many hours every day, um, we'd expect the running life of the, the rollers and running gear underneath to be significantly increased. Okay, and what sort of premium we're we talking over a traditional concrete platform? How much more money for the uh, for the composite? Roughly, um, probably seven or eight hundred pounds per per bale. So it is a little bit more expensive, but we certainly think that that payback will come down further down the track when you don't have to replace rollers and running gear underneath. Okay, and the first one of these uh, using this composite platform, I believe, is uh, being installed shortly in the UK. Yep, so we've got the first one going on to a farm up in uh, in North Wales and that's a 50, 50 stall rotary and um, it's on a TMR farm doing fairly high uh, production. Um, so we expect on that 50 stall rotary that farm will be milking about 300 cows per hour with one person. Okay, and like your platforms, you don't want to do other Me Too products and uh, go with the flaws such as the other big two competitors of yours. and. You, I believe you offer odd sizes as well, you don't always stick to round numbers? No, the, the beauty with, um, with the composite is we can now build whatever size the farmer requires. So quite often we say, to a farmer will come to us and say he's got a, a building of a set size, what size platform can we get into it? So you know, now we've got the ability to build a rotary anywhere from 30 stalls up. Um, we've just, just sold the, the largest rotary to be installed in the United States states which is a 110 stall rotary and that's going to be milking 7,000 cows three times a day. Okay and how many staff will be on that one then? Uh, probably be maybe five I would think at this stage so those people those five staff will work for eight hours and then there'll be another five staff come in there. Okay and I believe on some of your smaller uh, rotary milking pilots such as 50 point 60 point you can get away with less staff so down to two, how can you manage that then? Yeah, absolutely. So we've just installed a couple of big rotaries in the US, a couple of 60 stall rotaries that are milking 24 hours a day. And with some of the technology that we've put on, um, we're now milking those 2,000 cows with two people only. So um, we've automated some of the, the, the pre-milking routines. So we've got teat spraying that can, 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 um, can dip the cow's teats when she walks onto the platform. Um, the operator will then wipe the cow's teats and then attach the cluster and then our machine will do the sampling fu function which will actually look for mastitis. Okay. Grant, thank you very much for your time. No problem, thank you.